Good morning, guys. Welcome to today's video. Every time I turn on the camera, the dogs go crazy. Anyway, welcome to today. But I have the weirdest story for you guys. Did you guys see my hair? Can you see it? It's a little bit curly. And so when I was younger, this is what my hair was like all the time. And then after I went through menopause, I, my hair was never curly anymore. I swear I'm de-aging. Is that even a possibility? I never liked these kind of curls because they're actually not bad curls, but it always involved like doing a lot of stuff to keep them like this or to actually make them nicer. And I never really bought into it. I used to wear my hair like this occasionally, but I almost always straightened it. But then, like I said, it went straight and never went back to this. And then today I woke up and my hair was curly again. I'm de-aging. I'm getting younger. You're getting older and I'm getting younger. I'm getting younger. <laughs> Explain to me how you're getting younger. Tell me some proof. Show me the receipts. No proof. No proof. <laughs> Sometimes I get flack for the way that I talk to Sam, but that's just the dynamic of our relationship. We are super sarcastic with one another and super witty with one another. Like, we enjoy a more, I don't even know the right word, but once, I tried being like really kind always to Sam, like being like really, really sweet to him and like laughing and teasing and being really gentle. And he was like, get away from me. Who are you and what have you done with my wife? He likes women who are more spirited. I guess that's the word. Come on, let's go do chores. You guys stay here because you just cause problems. <laughs> so Sam is making his breakfast this morning. When we get back from our chores, he's already done his chores. We will be having bacon and egg McMuffin. Yeah, that is a problem, Chino. He loves his salt lick. I don't know if he's like trying to heal himself or what the heck is he, he is doing with that thing, but his sodium levels are definitely a bit high. We put salt in all of our horses' feed every day because not all horses will enjoy a salt lick the way that Chino does. So we stopped putting it in Chino's feed because he enjoys the salt lick a little too much. You love it? You love it? I come every morning to assess him, and every night, and every afternoon, I check on him, make sure that he has enough food, make sure that he has everything he needs. So now that we're almost done with the soak tay, this is where Sam puts the soak tay, um, I'm happy because soaking hay, why don't you guys have fly masks on? Soaking hay doesn't have all the vitamins and minerals that regular hay have in them in it. I know that you're just soaking up the sugar, but other vitamins and minerals get leached out too. Poor Sophie. She's already left me. It's the start of a three-day heat wave. I already hear the baby boy crying. Let's talk goats. You guys, the goats are killing us. Oh, but hello. The duck and the goose are doing fabulous. We love them. So let's just take a little detour and talk duck and goose first. <laughs> Uh, in the spring, I plan to add another goose, maybe two. I want three geese. I don't have plans to add another duck. I'm not in love with the duck the way that I love the geese. I love geese. They make me so happy. Okay, so let's talk goats. <laughs> Every day is a struggle. Ever since we added the boy, it's been trouble. The, the buck. The million dollar question, did the girls get out last night? But again, another derail. Ha, <laughs> uh -huh, mister, we saw Careful. him. Don't step away, he'll. Yeah, we saw him, he came home last night. He was out meandering around, he came home last night. Which I want him to be friends with the wild cats. I don't want him to be friends with the wild cats. Okay, he still comes back for food. I know, and love, hopefully it's what the love. I know. I gave up on it. I know. My hair is curly today. You Where do you gave up on it. <laughs> what happened to your hair? My hair is my hair. I didn't brush it. My yet. hair is my hair too. Okay, but I've lived with this hair my whole life. I've lived with this hair my whole life. You just haven't seen it because as I've gotten older, it got straighter and straighter. This is, I'm getting younger. This is how it used to always look. I mean, I used to straighten it, but this is what my hair always used to look like. <laughs> All right, now on to the million dollar question. It does not look as though anybody got free last night. So that's all it took was building that. Uh oh, she's got her 
neck through there. That's not good. I'm going to have to get Sam to put something on that. I knew it last night. Oh, she puts her head through there too. But see how that thing has that bar across it? We need a bar across it. I was, I actually asked Sam about it last night, but he didn't know what I was talking about. But we need that. Uh-oh, they're just running wild. Come on, outside. Just realize. Go out and find the boys. They're out there. This one needed <laughs> Rosie, did you need help? She's like, she's lying. I did not need any help, but look at. Blossom's just happy that she got to go outside for a second. Come on, outside. Getting them out in the morning now has been really tricky. Out, out. So none of our goats actually lick this mineral block. They, have, oops, they haven't ever licked this mineral block, but the little buck loves it. Speaking of personality traits, we're like a sarcastic, non-literal family. We're not a serious family. And I like that one. He pees on so We're long. never going to be a serious family. And Sophie just asked me, I told you guys about how the buck um, really enjoys that salt lake. Sophie said, what buck? And I said, well, we only have one buck right now. The other's the weather. And she goes, oh, poor boy. He doesn't even qualify as a buck anymore. As his species anymore. But she's joking. She's kidding. We are such a kidding family. So the reason I'm telling you guys all this is because in the comments, people are wondering why I'm trying to say that I don't blame Storm for things, even though I've said something that makes them feel that I blame Storm. But the truth is, the truth is, is that long ago I used to be really literal and I used to not understand or I used to not, I used to not understand people who weren't literal and I seemed harsh and I don't think people knew how to take me then either. And I made a conscious choice to soften who I am, to soften the way I speak so that I would always come across as kind and accepting. And being literal made things really difficult for me. So, so I learned to speak in generalities. I learned to soften myself. I learned to not be as judgmental and to let other people say the things that they say the way they say it. And I still struggle with that. And I learned to use humor to soften how I speak as well. So almost everything I say is meant to be taken in a humorous kind of way. But to be fair, not everybody is like me and I'm not like everyone else. And it has to go both ways. So I think there's just going to have to be people that don't understand who I am or understand how I speak. Just like there are going to be people that I don't understand and I don't understand how they speak. I think what's important is that we find what we like in one another and we focus on that. And that has been a strategy that I've used for many years now that has really helped me. So I'm gonna leave it at that. Definitely no horse is responsible for anything. They're only horses. They can't make decisions the way that we, we make decisions. They're just always acting in instinct. And if I say, oh, storm, what a bad boy you are today. I'm just adding a gentleness to the way that I speak. Obviously, Storm's not a bad boy, he's a horse. <laughs> Anyways, I hope that helps some of you guys because it makes me sad. <laughs> it does make me feel sad when people take me the wrong way and, and mistake my words and make them into something that I have not intended them to be. All right, it looks so yummy. This stove is still on. I know. Another one. Oh. All right. So, do you think anybody jumped out last night? Uh, no. They did not jump out, but there's a problem with our design. We need to put a piece of board over across the top of it because they put their necks in between the slots. Oh. And that could cause problems. So, we need to do that. Yeah, I was going to put plywood there. Yeah, we should do that. All right. So, Sophie's obsessed with these little pineapple trees. Isn't that adorable? It's tiny. So I used to be huge on trees and plants, and I used to have a money tree like that. Plants are a huge responsibility, just like everything else we have. So I had to like, so I had to make choices. I had to choose priorities. All right, so yesterday while we were at the water, Sophie found some crayfish, and she's determined to bring them home and raise them up. I'll show you guys when we get home. Look at that though. That's really cute. It glows in the dark. Here's so, fish food. Sophie really wants to get into oh, over here. Fish, but like I said about the plants, gotta pick our priorities, man, because we only have so much time in a day. 
So, oh look, pond flakes. Anyway, growing up, my sister used to always bring home crayfish and try Regular and raise them. Regular fish food and small fish. Regular fish food and small fish. This is small fish. All right, so They're this like is lying. Sophie's crayfish. I don't know if she's done everything right here. There's a big guy right there. Can That's you go to the way? That's a small one, actually. Oh, is that a small one? That's the smallest one I have. Oh, well, anyways, she has rocks in there. She has That's plants in one. there. Yeah, that is a big one. Want me to hold it? Yeah, hold it. Wow, that is creepy as heck. Anyway, my sister used to bring them home and try and let them survive and so we went and got some some fish food she got some stuff in there that they can climb up out of the water if they need to some some rocks so they can hide and um as soon as i put the food in there they all came out like they all were like we're here yeah wow that one's huge holy moly i have five in here there's five in there anyway hopefully they it goes well dead because i already know sophie would be devastated if it doesn't go well yesterday sam bought this corn and we ate some for dinner and it literally tasted like cotton candy i have never had corn like that before in my entire life like it is shocking it can't be good but it has to it can't be good for you for it to be that sweet but it honestly it tasted like no corn I've ever tasted in my entire life. It was so sweet. <laughs> oh, oh, you're napping. Hi, Sophie's missing it. I'm just gonna sit here and watch you. Aww. It's hot out today. Aw, I disturbed her. Oh, she wants to come and see. She wants to, I got a clip out of our video the other day, I think I still have it, where Ellie was in the field with honey. Anyway, she loves to chase Ellie. So normally when we go in the field and I see Ellie and honey close together, I'll pick Ellie up so that I can carry her so I can keep her safe because even though they just wanna play, I know that Ellie, I know that honey is like a lot bigger than her and could cause a lot of problems. So. The other day, I think I have the clip and I'll see if I can find it. But the other day, I had Ellie and Ellie was far away from me and Honey realized Ellie was there and Honey decided to chase Ellie and I was too far to catch her. So Ellie looked back at me and all I could say was run! <laughs> and she did. Run! Anyway, I love that the horses come in here and use this as to get out of the sun. Our experience with horses has always been one where our horses, oh, she's peeing, <laughs> have had an opportunity to come in out of the sun and cool down and choose where they want to be. And I love that. So, oh, did they put more cream on you this morning? They must have. Anyway, they have these little like scratch marks from either the weeds or I don't even know what from him and Penny have them. And I noticed that the flies land on there and try and try and eat there. So I've been putting cream on there to make sure that they're okay. If they let me, it's just cream to help the bugs not be able to bite you. I don't know if you guys can see. It's just like a little bit of, I don't know if they've been scratching. I've seen in, in other horses too. I don't know if it's like from weeds or what it is, but I know they like it when we scratch it. I'm gonna get some more cream. So ever since I put this bench here, it's become a hold all for everything. I don't mind that though. I actually put it here so that we can put stuff on it. Gabby's coming out to do Chino's feet in a few minutes. And it helps to have some place to put stuff on. <laughs> Hello. Come on, Milo, I have more hay for you. Oh, he still has lots in here. This is working out perfectly to keep Chino eating all day long. But today we're gonna do a rite of passage, a super amazing rite of passage for Chino. You guys know he's been sick for this, basically most of this summer. 
uh, it took a little bit of time to diagnose him and that he ended up having late stage Lyme disease, and, which is so scary. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't worried about his future because even though he's thriving and doing so much better, the possibility of him having a relapse is so strong. If your body is strong and your body is healthy and you're getting everything you need, especially like for horses being on grass, it's so good for them. I want you know to be getting everything that he needs now while he's feeling better. I don't know how to say exactly what I mean, but I know that his best chances at life are to be eating and, and exercising and doing all the things to make him healthy. So today, Gabby and I are going to take him out there and let him have a little bit of grass and see how he does because this whole process is about getting him back to his health, getting him back out on grass with his herd. Hopefully that made sense, but while we wait, I have to go check on the goats because those things are killing me. I love them. I love everything about them, but they are honestly devils. Oh, I think Gabby's out here. I can tell because the dogs always precede her. Inside. Inside doing what? Sitting on his It's because he doesn't like the she he doesn't like the dogs. He loves us though. He's so oh, sweet. It's a, it's a boy. Where have you been? <laughs> it's a boy. She lives under a rock. <laughs> He's really She jumped. You're okay. <laughs> See Molly? Lick it. Lick it Molly's licking her lips. Like, I'll lick her. All right. Look at I, honey. I found the goat. She jumped beautifully. Did she? And Grace took off her fly mask. And then they're following in the rear. They waited for her. I totally think Ellie is the kind of dog that would love to ride a horse. Like if I had something that I could put her on when I ride my horse, I honestly believe that she would be obsessed. All right, honestly, <laughs> she's obsessed. I never thought I would ever see this. She's been up there for like a half an hour. She's just sitting there. Like she just wants to be up on the horse. That's the one thing about Yorkies is that they sit like that. They sit on their bum. They think they're human. So the other thing is, if she wanted down, she would let us know. She loves it. I think she wants to go for a ride. Like she's obsessed, you guys. Like she's just, like she can see up high. She loves it. This dog makes me laugh every day. All right, so we've been doing some work on this boy today. You're gonna be shocked. You guys know how diligent I am about sheath cleaning. I'm. I'm always really careful about it, always. I kind of let Chino slide for a while because he's been so sick. Yeah, well, <laughs> our first beans ever. Are they are nothing like I thought they were gonna be. I've always tried to make sure that our horses don't get them. So he got some, two of them, Chino. They don't smell, which I thought that they would smell, but here's the thing, no, I, I can't smell don't. them. My nose sucks. I'm sweating to death. I'm like, Gabby, Gabby, you have to help me because it's hard to do if the horse is not like super willing. I'm like, just help me a little. And again, she's like, listen, I'm here. Tell me to get whatever you want. I'm not doing that. I'm not touching it. I'm not doing anything with it. And I get it, she's only 16. So then I had Sam. I'm like, go get your dad because I'm gonna need help. He was really good. He just stood there, but I was worried he was gonna kick me. I'm like, go get your dad because I'm gonna need help. So Sam comes up and he's like, no way. <laughs> like, oh my God. So everybody stood here and chatted and had a really great time while I fixed Chino. So yeah, everybody draws the line in our family to sheath cleaning. I can smell infection. I, I know what infection smells like and there was no smell. I think we caught it early to be honest. But anyways, there was no smell. Sure enough, there was two oh, little beans there. in there. Special award for all those women out there that are the only ones in your whole family, even your husband, that will do sheath cleaning. I asked Sophie to take a picture of them for me so I can show my friend. And she's like, no, I don't want something like that on my phone. It's so light, it's not even like having a saddle on. Oh, so this one fits her? Kind of, it's a the, bit big. Let's see, move her forward a bit. Like it's a bit big. 
sometimes I can't believe my life. <laughs> I feel like, Ellie. correct me if I'm wrong, but I, I every day I wake up and there's like a new disaster to try and figure out or a new something, new challenge every day to figure out. And maybe I'm wrong in thinking that one day I'm gonna wake up and there's not gonna be any more challenge to figure out. Chino looks really good down there though, like from where he was. Ellie. To where he is he still has like lots of padding on his feet but he's off all of his pain pills and he walks a little weird still because he's got like a big rubber boot on but he's Ellie. looking so much better Ellie. molly's like oh get it Had this conversation more